Praise God for the risen King, our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the day we receive this great joy of the salvation through the life and death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'd love to share this word of greetings to you all, all my sisters and brothers in one heart and beyond. Gospel of Matthew chapter 28 verses 1 through 10, it says, After the Sabbath, at dawn on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to look at the tomb. There was a violent earthquake, for an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the tomb, rolled back to stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The gods were so afraid of him that they shook and became like dead men. The angel said to woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here. He has risen, just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him. Now I have told you. So the women hurried away from the tomb, afraid yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them. Greetings, he said. They came to him, clasped his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. It is such a great moment that these women found that Jesus has risen again. And they were with great joy and overwhelming sense that they were running to his disciples to share this amazing news of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today is the day with this great sense of joy and excitement as the Christians, as the children of God, to proclaim and share this news of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. And brothers and sisters in Christ and in One Heart Church, I welcome you all to receive this great joy in the power of resurrection that our Lord Jesus had to share it with us. And today we find ourselves moving away from this great fear that is now gone away under this power of resurrection. And I hope and pray that this message of Easter today can give us this living hope in our heart and in our journey. And keeping this vision of becoming authentic, cross-cultural and missional and worshipping movement and community that we will Welcome his coming back, Jesus, with his promise of second coming. So friends, let us rejoice this amazing day of Easter. Then I would love to invite you all to join us our very special online worship today at 4 p.m. We have prepared this special online worship today to celebrate and remember the whole journey of Jesus Christ our Lord. May God bless you all and I look forward to seeing you all at 4 p.m. today.